you know what let me get a little closer to you guys am i in a frame in a frame okay we're good Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Andrea Siobhan and I'm currently a specialist in the United States Army. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, hey, it's nice to have you here. I am Andrea Siobhan and I make military related content. If you are interested in joining the army, if you're thinking about enlisting or if you're just waiting to ship for basic, you should hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so YouTube alerts you when I post new videos because I try to put out tips, advice, and just my overall experiences being a single parent in the army hoping that my experiences can help you all. But for the real reason you are here, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about your visit to the recruiter's office and some things you may wanna consider and think about before you even think about stepping foot through those doors. The first mistake you can make when going to the recruiter's office is not asking, asking, asking. Not asking specific questions. Don't be too vague when you are seeking out information on things that you want and some of the things that you want clarification on. You don't want to ask vague questions because then you're going to get vague answers. So then when you do leave the recruiting office and you decide to enlist and then you get in and you realize a lot of the stuff that you feel like you heard or you feel like they were telling you isn't necessarily what it is. And that's when you're like, oh, well, my recruiter lied to me. When they didn't lie to you, you just didn't ask specific enough questions to get the answers that you really needed. Don't tell your recruiter you want to leave ASAP. Do not tell your recruiter, I'm just trying to leave as soon as possible. Because then they're gonna offer you the most job so to speak now that's not always the case but for the most part when there is a job that's under strength and they need people in that area it's usually not a desirable job and of course they're going to let you leave as soon as possible because they need people in that MOS so if you're telling your recruiter that you want to leave as soon as possible then they're going to get you a job that's going to allow you to leave soon as possible but it's a good chance that you're not going to like that job. If they do give you the options for the MOSs that allow you to leave the soonest, I would sit on them for a little bit, go home, do research on them, see how you really feel about them, and then possibly enlist. But other than that, don't tell your recruiter you wanna leave right away because they'll grant that wish, but you may not like it. There are some medical conditions that would actually disqualify you from even being able to join the army. And that brings me to my next point. Do not offer information about minor things in your childhood that you were never diagnosed with. For example, asthma. If you were not diagnosed with asthma, any type of breathing problems, anything, if you aren't diagnosed with it, don't go in and tell your recruiter, oh, well, I think I probably had asthma because my mom told me that I had asthma. If you weren't medically diagnosed with it, just don't put it on your paperwork. Don't don't tell your recruiters that you think you had something that you weren't diagnosed with because that may ruin your chances of being able to get in the army. Number four would be do not go in the recruiting office acting like you have all the power in the world. You know some of the people that go in and they play that little dangle the carrot in the face of the recruiters type nonsense. The ones that go in and they act as if the recruiters are just at their feet. All hell's gonna break loose if they don't enlist, you know? Yeah, yeah, they want you to enlist. They have a job that they have to do. They have to get you to enlist, but understand that you're not their only recruit. You're not. You're not the only one. And to be completely honest, if you get really annoying, I'm sure that they're just going to brush you right off. Go in, be humble, be open-minded. Yeah, yes, yes, you have a little bit of power because you're on the outside and you kind of get to choose a few things that you want. They kind of try to offer you whatever it is that you want to get you to enlist. But don't go trying to demand all the stars, moons, and sun all at the same time because it's not going to happen and chances are they just going to kind of wash their hands with you because I mean as a recruiter I know I would like what you bye like I don't have time. Do not bring in a third wheel to battle or argue with your recruiter. Don't bring someone else that you know is in the army as well and have them come in to try to battle you or negotiate with your recruiter because then that's just going to bring unnecessary tension. So when I went to the recruiting office, 
I was in a recruiting office with this female and her dad used to be in the army and he came in with her and it was just this whole thing where I feel like she was kind of in the same boat as me starting off she couldn't get her security clearance so they offered her a line of jobs and she actually was getting offered a bonus for her job but for whatever reason her dad felt like she should have been getting more of a bonus and so they started going back and forth about what could possibly happen or why isn't she getting this and he's basically speaking from back in the day when he was in the army when they used to do this it was just this whole thing so try to avoid all of that confusion and all of that headache and tension by just not bringing anyone in now of course you don't want to get taken advantage of because if you knew better you would do better and that's kind of that thing so if you needed to bring someone in to feel comfortable someone that's just going to you know listen in on the conversation have your back make sure nobody's you know pulling the fast one on you that's perfectly fine but bringing someone in to try to lit battle with your recruiter is a no just don't Number six is try to be open-minded. Do not be closed-minded. A lot of mistakes recruits make is when they go into the recruiting office, they had an expectation, they knew exactly what they wanted, and their entire game plan kind of crumbles when they get there and realize something isn't gonna go as planned or something that they asked for or thought they would have been able to do, they just can't do. I feel like that's one of those things where you're gonna have to be open-minded and understand that just because you want this, you may not be able to get it. And because you make it uh, one point of it, you may not be able to get everything. For me example, I'm a chemical soldier. Do you think I wanted to be chemical? No, I actually tried to get 68 whiskey when I first came in, but it was this whole thing with my security clearance and a trip in Vegas that got me a ticket. So it was just a lot of stuff. <laughs> It was just a lot of stuff and everything was said and done. It took my job options from here to here. And the best job that I had to choose from was Seaburn. So what did I do? I chose Seaburn. Now, again, I could have waited a few months until I was in the clear and I was able to get my security clearance and all that stuff. But honestly, I didn't want to wait. If I knew then what I know now, I probably would have waited, but I didn't want to wait. So. I took the first opportunity I was able to get in I got 74 Delta and that was that my entire game plan everything that I wanted everything that I thought it went right out the window as soon as I realized that and but but I was able to be open-minded enough and I was offered another opportunity and you know I took it so just be mindful that some things will not be the way you want them so just try to be open-minded try to stay open-minded don't be afraid to voice what it is that you want either do not go into the recruiter's office and let the recruiter just push you around and tell you what you're going to do or tell you what you want to get if you have a list of jobs that you feel that you are interested in because you should go with the list of jobs instead of just one all part of being open-minded it'll make your chances of getting something that you actually want better but if you have a recruiter who is saying no you should get this job because this is what's best for you then no you don't have to take that if they're telling you that a certain job isn't available ask them to show you why you can't get that job if you're saying that you want airborne in your contract and they're telling you that you can't have it ask them to show you why you can't have airborne in your contract why can't you be offered that don't be scared to voice what it is that you want make sure you are doing your due diligence and you're making sure that you're not allowing someone to just push something on you when you don't want it if you don't if they're offering you something or they're putting something in your contract that you do not like make sure you say that make sure you say I don't like this in my contract or I, I don't I don't know what this is if you need something explained to you no matter if they have to explain it to you five times if you need it explained to you a sixth time for you to actually really grasp it and understand it do that just make sure you always keep in mind that this is a career choice this is your career choice and nobody gets to dictate your career but you this is not back in a day where you can say you know what deuces I quit I can't do this anymore so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff and go no you don't get to do that anymore so once that contract is signed and you're being shipped off to basic it's too late at that point to go back to try to change anything that you did not like and that you objected to that 
that time is when you are in the recruiting office when you go to the MEP office when you when you're doing stuff like that before you sign that final contract when you the day you ship make sure everything is lined up and everything is the way you want it before you actually leave do not be do not do not be afraid to speak up and have a real conversation with your recruiters but that's all I have battle bays. That is it. A few mistakes you do not want to make when you are going to a recruiting office. I hope this video wasn't too rushed. Again, I'm in BLC. It's Sunday, the last night I get to spend with my kids. So I'm trying to just hurry up and film this video. And I have another one to film later on so I can go ahead and relax and just spend as much time with them as I can before I leave. If you have any more questions, don't forget to leave them down below. Give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you when I post new videos and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye!